What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to continue on with some of our anabolic, thermogenic, peptide-like, asthma medication drug profiles. I guess that's what you would call them. I really didn't want to get into these things, but the problem that I'm seeing over and over again is you guys want this information. And if I don't give you the information, you go out and get it from other places that get sucky information. That's wrong information. And then you guys are all confused. And hopefully none of you have done anything to hurt yourselves because you're getting wrong information. So I guess I would rather put these out so that you know the real deal rather than say, well, you know, I don't want to give you guys any ideas about going to use drugs. Well, pretty much if you're asking for it, you already have the idea to use drugs. So here we go. Today's topic, clenbuterol hydrochloride. Clen is the abbreviation, the nickname. You may hear it in the gym. Just go on a little clen. You want to go try to take a little clen. Hop on a clen. Clen this, clen that, clen this, clen. Clen's cheap, clen's this. Okay, fine. First time I use clenbuterol. Shoot, it's got to go back to 2000, nah, 90, 98, 99, something like that. Somewhere around there. Anyways, we had secured a bunch of spiropent, which is from Germany or wherever it was from, which is a brand name of clenbuterol. And I thought if I took these pills, I was going to get ripped. I was going to have to diet or it was going to make my dieting easier. It was going to help my training and I was going to look awesome. So I took one of these pills, the Spiropens, like weed around an hour, kind of hanging out, not really seeing much. I don't know, whatever. But this is a pharmaceutical grade product. This is not an underground product. This is legit from the pharmacy. And uh, so the next day I took two and I noticed that when I went to, to sign a, a credit card thing, I was like, like, I couldn't even keep my hands still. That's how bad it was. I didn't feel any heart palpitations, nothing like that. I didn't feel warmer. But I did the cyclophlan for like eight weeks, and I didn't really see that much of a difference, to be honest with you. It wasn't all it was cracked up to be. It was fairly cheap, whatever. There's a liquid that you can get, like, in Mexico. But the, uh, the tablets are pretty cheap in Mexico, too. But the bottom line was it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So then I thought, well, maybe I should try to take more. Because if some didn't work, then more would probably work. Five tablets, six tablets. I heard of stories of guys going up to 10 tablets a day, which would be 200 micrograms. But then again, it's all hearsay because you never really know anybody who's done it. You always heard of a buddy who has a buddy who did it. So fast forward to like the early 2000s. Now all of a sudden you had this black market starting to boom because they had shut down all these different pharmacies in different companies that were selling steroids because they had the Operation Gear Grinder and all this stuff happening. So now everything shut down, so it was black market. It was underground stuff. That's what started coming around. And there was this one called Super Clan, okay? Super Clan was a little tiny speck of a tablet. I mean, it was so small that you would have to get like a pill cutter, split it into four pieces because it was 200 micrograms per tablet, which the average dose is 20 micrograms. And this stuff was super clean. The problem is in the underground, and anything you secure on the underground is not mixed in a pharmaceutical lab, which means that dosing in that pill, you can get in a corner of it that's got all 200, or you can get the bottom of it that's got 50. It's not produced with the right dosing throughout consistently throughout the tablet. So a friend of mine had some of the super clean. He cuts it and he takes a little piece of it. Says, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. He takes like a half of it. And I don't feel anything. So the next day he decides, hell with it. I'm going to take the whole tablet. So he pops the 200 micrograms of clenbuterol. Super clean. Next thing you know, I get a phone call about two hours later, and he's sitting there in his house, and his heart rate is through the roof. It's like 170 beats a minute at rest, just laying there. So his body temperature is like 102, and he's starting to freak out, and he's going, oh, this is happening, that's happening. And he's like, um, do you think I can work out? I'm like, oh my God, no, I don't think you can work out. <laughs> okay, right now your, your body's pushed to the max. I don't think you can work out. I think that you should sit there, and if anything changes beyond what it is now, Call the ambulance. Don't even go to the, the hospital. Call the ambulance and get in the ambulance to tell them what you took. So he wrote it out and you know kept drinking his water and rested that day. And eventually it did subside. And you know he was okay. But the bottom line was it made me realize that stuff is pretty powerful if taken in the wrong dosage. So now you want to make sure that you do get something that is pharmaceutical. It's not an underground. It's not a liquid that well, you have to shake up and see it's suspended. Because I have another friend who shook up the suspended liquid, took it with the eyedropper, poured the clenbuterol in his mouth, passed out doing leg presses because he didn't even know how much he got. The suspension is not even the way that they do it because it's underground. They don't care. So he shakes this thing up, squirts it in his mouth. Next thing you know, boom, hits the floor. Heart rate went up too high, passed out. 
So, like, there are definitely some big dangers to this stuff as opposed to it not being harmful. But it doesn't, the, the common denominating factor is it doesn't do anything without dieting. Will it help you diet? It'll probably, I mean, I, I honestly don't see it even when I'm dieting when I used it. It wasn't enough to make me say, I'll go spend money on this. Honestly, I think it's a waste of money unless you're dieting and unless you're trying to get to like 2% body fat and you're stuck, then maybe you try it at that point, kind of try to peel down. But other than that, it doesn't really do that much. So if you think you're going to buy this stuff and continue to do what you're doing and pop a couple tablets a day and all of a sudden you're going to get shredded, bullshit. It doesn't work like that. And also, there's different ways to take it. You can take it two on, two off, and take it five days on, two off, cycle it four weeks on, one week off. It doesn't matter how you do this stuff. It doesn't work like you think it does, okay? One thing it does do, great, and I'll tell you right now, if you have an upper respiratory infection or you have asthma and you pop one of these tablets, you're going to feel a million times better. Like, I don't even know why they don't have these on the market in America. My girlfriend, Carrie, has a chronic asthma she's had as a child. I mean, it's, it's, it's so bad so that she has to use multi -medic multiple medications to control it with her inhalers and stuff. And this stuff, although she's never tried it because she said, you know, this, when I met her, this was way before I met her when I was doing this stuff, she's never tried it because it was never around and she never really knew about it. I guarantee you if this was at the pharmacy and someone prescribed it to her and she took a tablet, it, she probably wouldn't need the inhalers. So it's, it's a great product as far as that goes. So I hope this kind of sheds a little bit of light on you guys about what Clen is what it does. It's an asthma drug. It doesn't make cutting like you think it does. Be careful about what you get because you get something on the black market that's not dosed right. You could very easily wind up in the hospital. Most of my meathead friends, we didn't, we didn't go to the hospital. We just wrote it out, which is probably stupid to begin with. And it can definitely cause damage to the heart long term. Studies have shown it. The clenbuterol can actually cause damage to the heart because of the way it increases your heart rate. So be careful. BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave the comments down below, www.biostreetraining.com, and we're out.